definitely tough over there. It's interesting the similarities between these two. So Carson and Daly, they were both a number two seed. Carson and Daly in their playoffs, in their subdivisions, were both six and one. They get here, their captain, each one of them, has a world champion as a captain. You got the Thunder Chickens, 217. They were world champs in 2006, in 2008. The captains over on Daly, 2767, world champs last year. No matter who wins, we're going to have three first time world champs because the other three remaining teams on each alliance, this will be their first world championship if they can pull it off. Now, there's one thing, I don't know if it's about the water or a hometown advantage here or something, but if you were listening to the introductions, we've got one team from Ontario, that's just across the river. We've got one from Pennsylvania, and we've got six from Michigan. We're gonna leave the water alone. All right. I think a little hometown pride, though, a little home state pride. So, Dan, let's talk about strategy. What did we see over in Kobo? Yeah, we had one more similarity. Of course, both teams three and two in our round robin. And they did play once. It was 417 to 330 in favor of the Daily Alliance. Um, they're pretty evenly matched, though. I mean, we're going to see similar things coming out of autonomous mode on both sides of the field. Um, both, both alliances have two strong scale robots that are going to come out and, and try to take control early. All right, let's get it done. Let's send it to the field. Our MCs are Yoji Shimizu, Stephanie Stewart, and our game announcer, Corey Bounds. Thank you very much, Blair. Welcome to finals match number one here on I at Ford Field. Let me hear you. <laughs> Who's ready to play some first power up? We begin with the Daily Alliance. Over here on the Red Alliance end, welcome team 4027. Out of State College, Pennsylvania, Center County, 4-H Robotics. In the middle, welcome Team Rush, 27. They're from Clarkston, Michigan, Team Rush. And your reigning world champions, 2767. They join us from Kalamazoo, Michigan, Strike Force. Your fourth member of this alliance is Team 2708, Link Effect Robotics. And over on the Blue Alliance, our team representing Carson Field, a full alliance of Michigan teams. First up, it's 217! They join us from Sterling Heights, Michigan, Thunder Chickens. And joining them, make some noise, Team 4130! They're from Richmond, Michigan, the Blue Devils. And last but not least, on the field, it's 3357! From Grand Rapids, Michigan, Comets. Rounding out this Carson Alliance is team 4967, that one team. Einstein Finals match number one. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, power up! Autonomous begins in Einstein final match number one. Take a look at that scale. It is balanced. We see 27 and 217. They both go for their first power cube. 27 Rush will miss their first. Let's see if Thunder Chickens can pull it off. That scale balance as we enter our teleoperated mode. Checking out that score, we see a red alliance advantage. 27 67 almost falls. Their partners, 27, right behind them to keep them on their wheels. Our switches are claimed in favor of their own alliances. That means that they're each picking up one point per second, but that scale, because it is tipped toward the red side, your red alliance gets an extra point per second. That is why they are in our lead here. Our daily alliance up 100 to 70. Looking down at the red end of the field, we've got two red alliance robots, power cubes, in the possession of 2767 Strike Force. They are meeting some defense from 4130. 4130 needs to be careful around that null territory. They can't play defense there. Under a minute and a half remaining, still an advantage.
to our daily alliance. Blue Alliance needs to get something moving and fast. And it looks like down on the blue end of the field, Rush in red bumpers playing some defense against the Blue Alliance switch. If the Blue Alliance loses possession of their switch, their score will pause. One minute remaining in the match and no power-ups played quite yet. It looks like your Red Alliance is planning on a Levitate power-up. Their Alliance member, Center County 4-H Robotics, they are in the exchange. They passed through two power cubes. They need one more for a 30-point Levitate. 45 seconds remaining in the match, still in favor of your Red Alliance, but your Blue Alliance has a chance. They claim possession of the scale. Now Red and Blue earning one point per second as we head into our end game. With that sound, Red Alliance plays their first power up, a 30 point levitate. That gives them a free climb regardless of the end of our match. 20 seconds left now, Daily still in the lead. 4027 drives on up a ramp that has been deployed by Strike Force. Strike Force and Center County, they are up. That is 60 points for your Red Alliance. In addition to the levitate, makes 90. A boost coming in from Red in our final moments, but two Blue Alliance robots above the bricks at the end of Einstein final match number one. Ladies and gentlemen, an action-packed match. Let's take a look at our results. Your winner, your Red Alliance. Red takes home a big victory, 431 points to 229. That puts them up 1-0 in our final playoffs. On